All right, let's look at some grip fighting strategies. We bow, Peter's leading with the right leg, okay? So now immediately make an assumption that he's gonna turn to this direction, okay? So first, I wanna turn my shoulders so that my sleeve hand is slightly further away and the sleeve that I'm looking for is slightly closer to me, okay? You could always take this one step further by creating this sort of a sidestep angle. Peter's hand's much closer, Peter's hand a lot further away, okay? I wanna control this side of the body first and protect my right side of the body, right? Because we're mirror images of each other, I'm looking to hunt the sleeve, Peter's also looking to hunt the sleeve. If I can't get the sleeve, I wanna go lapel, Peter's also looking to get this lapel, right? So naturally, when I come out to fight my opponent, I wanna bring this shoulder back, protect my lapel here, and keep my left hand forward, okay? This is no different than if you were wrestling, lead leg is protected by the lead hand, and then I'm reaching out the pulse and work the person's hand with my back hand, okay? Same exact principle. Uh, once you understand this, then you're always gonna know never to reach with your right hand, okay? If I reach with my right hand, he grabs, turn throws to the right, right? If he's capable of shooting, if I go like this, he shoots in on the leg. So, shoulders back, protecting this lapel hand. Ideal scenario number one, sleeve, okay? I'm gonna come around and look to slap this hand, right? And then just connect the sleeve here. Once I have this, I grab a nice load of the material here and I bring the hand down. And now I look to attack off of this one hand, okay? I don't wanna just sit here and try to look for two hands on because Peter's very aware he's down one point already. He's down one hand. I have one hand on, he has no hands on, okay? I could do an attack easy, quick arm drag. Sode. One hand tie. Okay, so I want to make sure I do a couple of these attacks. Okay, and then I want to improve position over the back. Okay, a lot of times people, people doesn't want me to get the over the hand back. Ipon Senagi, right? Underneath. Tayatoshi. Oh, there's my overhand. Dominant position. Great time for me to do judo here. Kochi. Ochi. Snap the person down. Fake step. Huge turn throw. Right? Lots of different options for me. Scenario number one, ideal. Can't get the sleeve, whoop, hand on the lapel. Okay? You're gonna wanna return this hand. My hand is camping right here. To catch the wrist, turn the hand downward. Okay, now if my hand's beaten to the inside, Ipon is available. Hand's beaten into the top, over the back, over the arm. Okay, common mistake, I go underneath and he comes over the back with this. Whoops, and now we're dead even. Right? He's a savage athlete. God knows what happened there, right? Sort of boom, who knows? I'm protecting this side, he comes here. Nope, get out of here. Also, okay? You can return, catch. Yeah. Ipon Senagi. Posture break. Over the back. Sleeve, coaching. These would be sort of my situation. Now let's look at a scenario where I can't get the sleeve and I post on the lapel and he punches his hand into me at the same time. Now this is a race to take this hand off, okay? Peter's holding on really tight. For me to take this hand and rotate, don't take, let me take this hand off, it's very difficult. You can push this hand down, it's not easy to put a lot of force here, okay? So I do a, a certain little trick. First, I turn my hand Downward, pinky down, okay? Because I'm gonna look to rotate his hand inwards, okay? Not outward, but inwards. So I'm gonna connect this hand to the form, and I step back and let the hand drop to the bottom of the hand, okay? Once I'm capable of doing that, hold on tight, I could rotate the wrist, hold on. Ah, rotate it, and then I could take the hand off, okay? You can't rotate by the wrist. Don't let me turn the thing. Ah. You get an Indian bird from when you were a little kid, but you're not gonna be able to take that hand off. I can coordinate this, I step back and let the thumb drop into the pocket of that hand, and now look, I can rotate it. Take the hand off. My Ipon Senagi waiting for me. <laughs> so, can't get it, pulse. Turn the wrist downward, back, I look to take the hand off. Now I'm in good position, over the back, can go over the shoulder, huge or so. 
dominant position. Sasai, Koji, Oji, Turn Throw, Fake Step, Oji. Right? Lots of different things that I can do here. Right? I can snap the person down, go for a throw. Right? Peter, can you go turn that way? Ah! No, because I'm dominant. Okay? So that will be my right side versus right side strategy. Ideal position one, can't get it. Two, returns. I could catch it. I catch it great. If I can't, I like to take this hand off, right back to scenario number two. That's right side versus right side strategy for gripping. Wrong with it.